G'day all, it's Colin from PC TLC and thanks for joining me. In this video we're going to be looking at Antix Linux. Antix Linux is very closely tied with MX Linux and it uses a window manager. So let's check out Antix Linux. Here we have Antix Linux website. And there you got Dolphin there with one of his videos for Antix. About Antix. Is a fast, lightweight, and easy to install system D free Linux live CD distribution based on Debian Stable for Intel AMD by 86 compatible systems. Antix offers uses the Antix magic in an environment suitable for old and new computers. So don't throw away that old computer yet. The goal of Antix is to provide a light but fully functional and flexible free operating system for both newcomers and experienced users of Linux. It should run on most computers ranging from 256 megabytes old Pentium 3 systems with pre-configured swap to the latest powerful boxes. 256 megabytes of RAM is recommended minimum for Antix. The installer needs minimum 4 gig hard disk size. So that is Antix website. Download from here. There's a download page there, Antix. So let's see what Antix has to offer. Uh, we've got Antix. Surely Antix can't let me down. I've done that one before. 766.5 megabytes. So let's just check Antix out. Let's arc that up. Antix 19.3. Okay, so here we are in Antix. And let's get the install going for Antix Linux. Oh, the install is already running, is it saying? Oh, it's because I double clicked it. It's a single click on Antix. So let's go next. And this installer should be very similar to the MX Linux installer because they both have a lot in common. I'm just going to install directly to that disk. OK to format. Yes. Next. Antix 1. We'll use that. Next. Australia. Australian English. Australia. West. 24 hour time for me. Next, default user login name, password, root password, and confirm password. You can auto login, and that would be the install complete for Antics. Let's reboot, and we'll sign in. Got a nice bit of blur happening there. We'll just sort out our resolution. Go to Control Center. I think it's hardware or is it session? Set screen resolution. Outputs VGA resolution 1920 by 1080. Tick and done. So this is Antix. Have a terminal, we have a file manager. Don't know if we've gotten about anywhere. We have a web browser, Firefox. About Firefox is 78.3, it's the extended support release. Have a calendar, have a little um, icon down here that tells us about memory and uh, memory usage and so forth. We've got a software installer and that's the same as the Antix installer and you've got all these options here so there's plenty of them. And what does it come with? Let's have a look. We've got an editor that's Genie, 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 I'm not quite sure how that's pronounced. Terminal, Rocks Term. Seen the web browser, App Select. Conky Toggle, so you can just select your apps from there. Applications. So you've got a whole heap of applications here, similar to what you'd have in MX Linux. Accessories, 
Galculator, Leaf Pad, Midnight Commander, Search Monkey, Space FM File Search, so Space FM is the file manager, XF Burn, Graphics, you got Mirage, MT Paint, Screenshots, Internet, uh, Dillo again, I've seen that in another one, Firefox ESR, Multimedia, Celluloid, MPV Media Player, SM Tube, plenty of good stuff there. Office, GDP, GPT, GPDF View, <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, preferences there, heap of preferences to help you out with configuration, programming, system, Personal, recent files list. You can log into different desktops. So you've got uh, plenty of desktops to choose from. Take your pick. I won't go through them all. An app killer. Focus. Preferences. And themes. So you've got a whole heap of different themes there to help you out with. Uh, the appearance of your desktop as well. So if you wanted to ins uh, install Office something from Office, then you'd probably have the option in here. Office, there's your Office there. LibreOffice full. Don't think it tells you how big it is though, or, or does it? We can't um, full screen, Alt F11. So there's no options to find out. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how big that would be. So if we tick that, it doesn't, still doesn't tell us. So you've got a whole heap of options to install things here. Not sure if it's got, um, you can right click on the desktop boot too, by the way. LibreOffice surely wouldn't be um, very small in size, that's for sure. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the package installer to see if we can install Synaptic. And let's just see if any anywhere through this process it tells us how big the install is. So what it's done here is um, to install Synaptic, it's opened up from this package installer, it's opened it up in the terminal and need to get 4,535 kilobytes, which is four megabytes. After this operation, it'll be unpacked to 13 megabytes. So that's hit enter because Y is the capital, which is the default answer. So let's do that. So four megabytes for Synaptic. So um, I wonder if that, that will do that with uh, Office as well. Uh, no, I don't want to exit the package installer. Let's just check out um, under Office and find out how big Office is once we try to install it. So Office Full, so we've got Soft Maker free Office there as well. So let's have a look at, and you, oh, you do have options for GNumeric, Lightweight Spreadsheet. And you also got Abbey Word, which is a lightweight word processor. So there's another option there if you only want the lightweight ones. If you want a full Office suite, that's, so this is the latest full. I'm not sure what that means latest is that the most up-to-date one or something let's check it out let's click install because we got the option of not installing so need to get 100 megabytes of archives and after this operation 374 of additional disk space will be used so we're looking at 100 megabytes so 766 megabytes download plus another 100 there is 866 870 if you include Synaptic. Um, there's probably no need to install Synaptic because this does tell you right here how much it needs to get. So that's that's really not a lot to download for a full office suite anyway. Normally I would have thought it's 300 and something megabytes to be honest, but uh, that's quite low. So let's just check that out. I'll install it and see what that is. Uh, do you want to exit the package installer? Yes, let's do that. 
Uh, let's go to Applications. Um, where are we? Office. LibreOffice Calc. That's my favorite program to open anyway. OK. Help and About LibreOffice. 7.0.3. That is pretty good. And I like the way it's presented as well. It doesn't look old fashioned or anything. It looks pretty much up to date. And that's a 100 megabyte download. So I don't know how they managed to do all that with just downloading 100, 100 megabytes. There must be something within the ISO that's already got something in the background. That's really weird. Anyway, a very good option for um, Antix Linux. Antix Linux looks to me like it's probably one of the most favorable um, distros so far. So just to recap on the most important things here is what's available out of the box besides LibreOffice, which I've just installed. I have been through it, not comprehensively though. Um, task Manager, let's have a quick look at Task Manager anyway. We're running 103, 163 megabytes of memory. Wowee, CPU usage is zero. So that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Can't argue with that. So let's just have a very quick look at this. Antix, Android device, USB connect. Antix updater, user manager, Wi-Fi switch, backlight and brightness, Chi root rescue scan, date and time, format USB. So you've got a, a, a USB formatter in here as well. ISWN toolbar icon manager, ISO snapshot. Live USB kernel updater, live USB maker, personal menu editor, YAD color, don't know what that is, must be a color picker, accessories, archive manager, calcul uh, is that a calendar? Must be a calendar, let's check that out. It's a calendar. Oh, it's a terminal calendar. Fair enough. Clip it, calculator, leaf pad, which is your text document, midnight commander as an end cursors, File Manager, um, it's, uh, you can do things in root and everything on that, um, comes in handy sometimes. If you cannot find an option of opening your file manager in root, that's a very good option uh, to have. Other desktops, Search Monkey, a Space FM File Search, so that the file manager definitely, got, I did say before it's got to be the file manager Space FM. I just can't find where it says the About Search Monkey. So you can do a search there within folders there and XF burn. So you've got uh, Leafpad a text editor in graphics. You have Mirage, which is a image viewer, help and about Mirage image viewer, MT paint and a screenshot tool. In internet, you've got Firefox. It's pretty much all you need in a lightweight distro really. A whole heap of other things, I really don't know what they are. And then multimedia, you have MPS YouTube, SM Tube, so that's a little, um, what can you say? Uh, I think it's a web app for YouTube, I believe. So it's so you don't have to go to YouTube itself, you can watch it from here. I think that's how it works anyway. XMMS, what's that one? That's an audio player, multimedia system. That's uh, very hard for me to see, to be honest. Oops, um, can we full screen that? Play file, about XMMSS. Cross-platform multimedia player. All right, so I don't know how to maximize this media player. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's going on. Full screen, it's not doing full screen. I don't know what it's doing. Double click it, doesn't do anything. And maybe if we close and reopen it, it might do something there. Ah, oh, there we go. So what did I just do? I hit the main window, Alt W. I don't know what the I don't know what that does. So we've got an icon tray down here, so you can uh, full screen from here, but it doesn't go full screen anyway. 
So that is your multimedia player. Very hard to see that one, I must I must say. Office, which I installed, of course, except for the GPDF view. That is a hard one to say. <laughs> so you've pretty much got everything you need. You've got a media player. You've got MPV media player. So that can play movies and videos. That's a very good player. I like that. Celluloid is the same thing. That's a good player as well. And you've got XMMS. So these are all really good tools in here. So you can just drop urls or files in here to play that's the mpv which is a very simple player and also celluloid which has probably a little bit more control over what you can do here it's got a menu and all these toggles and stuff so celluloid's quite quite a nice one as well themes um what are we on blue day medium clear view um large let's have a look at that oops interesting uh, themes yes that's very large isn't it <laughs> clear view small um, what was the default I can't remember must have been blue day I think blue day small uh, blue day let's have a look blue day medium and what else have we got sunny day pretty pink Ice clear medium. Okay, themes. Pretty pink medium. There's pink there. Pinky's watching. She would like that one. <laughs> um, themes again. Uh, truth ice medium. Yeah, it's a bit bright for the eyes for me, to be honest. Sunny day medium. So it's just a yellow, um, it's got yellow accent colors. And we've got a metal, I don't know what that one is. Oh yeah, okay. So back to Blue Day Medium. So that's your theme. So you've got some theme options there as well. And of course a conky clock on the desktop. And then you've got your logout there. So that was Antix Linux. Very impressive is Antix Linux, especially for a 760 odd gig download and installing an extra office program still within the um, the limits of the 900 megabyte download according to what we downloaded there. If that's if that was accurate, and I have to think it is. Antix is looking like one of the most favorable distros to date. Um, that's um, Fairly comprehensive. A lot of packages come with Antix. 760 megabyte download. That's pretty awesome. And to install Office is only an extra 100 megabytes. That's pretty good. So you, it, it seems to have everything you need. It's got a lot of different desktops you can, you can change to. You don't have to install them because they're already installed. Um, so that in itself is quite good so i'm liking antix already is one of the most favorable lightweight distros to to date so that was antix linux hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting and informative and thanks for watching